Today's Funko is brought to you by Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf was such a classic part of my childhood and Michael J. Fox absolutely annihilated the role of Scott Howard. Definitely a gem. What's up everybody? I'm Dave Miranda and this is episode 135 of Just Give Me Five. Hope you guys are doing great, continue to be amazing. We got a really, really awesome show lined up for you today. But first things first, I need you to hit that like button, I need you to hit that subscribe, and I need you to spread the word about Just Give Me Five. All right. If you guys see the code I got on, obviously I just did the, you know, the Teen Wolf plug earlier, you know what I mean, with the Funko. I was actually Scott Howard, AKA Teen Wolf for Halloween. So I was like, you know what? The code was kind of fly. <laughs> Might as well just bust it out. You know what I mean? Hang on to it for a little while. So that's how we were doing it. Good times, good times. If you guys caught episode 134 though, you saw we had none other than the legendary graffiti artist himself, Sar. And let me tell you, man, that episode has been getting so much positive feedback. I mean, it's like, it's really like watching a movie, you know, watching a, watching a film. It's like a, like a mini documentary. And that's really what the show is based on. We try to make every episode like a mini doc. And uh, man, just the history that he had from starting back in 77, you know, from Queens and the history of the Bronx and Brooklyn and just, man, just everything of how it all tied in the Star Wars, you know, stories. I mean, it just, I mean, that guy, you know, really, really just accomplished so much, you know, at such an early time. And, uh, you know, it was just a true gem, man. Absolutely wonderful to have him on our platform. So, man, make sure you guys watch episode 134. And shout out to you, my brother. All right. But today's guest is an absolute legend in lowrider culture and is also a Hall of Famer. We're going to talk about how he got into lowriders as well as the start of his Frank's Custom Hydraulics business, some memorable moments, getting inducted into the Lowrider Hall of Fame, and so much more. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I present to you Frank Castillo. Hello everyone, I'm Frank Castillo from Frank's Custom Hydraulics, and all I'm saying is just give me five. Man, I've been, my whole life, really, my, my whole family was into it, you know, um, but I really, really got into it when I was like in the seventh grade. Okay. Um, one of my family members, he, Manny Moreno, he had a car and he let me hit the switch when I was in the seventh grade and after that I was hooked. Wow, man, it's, man seventh grade. When, when was like, do you remember when like hydraulics first came out? What year was that? Oh, that was the 50s. Yeah, those fifties. There's so many people that it, they were doing it, yeah. you know, older guys, and and, and uh, they're the ones that started. Really, they started all this whole journey, right. and it's you know what it's become now is crazy. I don't know if you've seen what we do. Oh, you yeah. know, cars are flying. Oh yeah. Uh, the show show industry, the pumps, the trunks are just so exotic now. You know, it's it's not no more. Back in the days, we had to use the pump the the pumps off tailgates. You know, work trucks. Right. Okay, so now you're in seventh grade. Was your cousin, was he in a car club? Well, we originally started Sophisticated Few in the late 70s. Okay. Um, but back then, there was no car club. It was just cruising central on the south side. Right, right. You know, and th that was pretty much it. So that's where, like, the inspiration came from. So you guys had that going. So then high school. Then w w when did you guys start? In the 70s? 70s. I started doing it in my grandmother's garage in the 70s and also with manual. You know, we do it at his house. We'd paint cars, do hydraulics. Yeah. Um, we lifted so many people's cars that even people that have big companies, not, not in business no more, but you know, like Red's Hydraulics. We, right. we did one of the brothers' cars, you know, back in the days in the 70s. It's just, like I say, from the 70s, you know, when I went on my own doing it in the, my grandma's garage, you know, um, I just made a shirt, said Frank's Hydraulics, and it blew up from there. Wow. You know, and, and then uh, 1980, um, my buddy opened up a shop, and uh, I worked with him 1980 to 85. Mm -hmm. We were called House of Hydraulics. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, his name's Joe Montenegro, you know, and uh, he brought Spirit Car Club down here to Phoenix. Right. And um, then we started doing special effects in 1985. Yeah. And he stayed doing it, so I stayed here. and. 
just kept it right on going. So, so with special effects, the uh... movie movie industry. Right, right. Oh, he was oh he was doing special effects. Yeah, we both were doing it, and he just stayed he stayed in the industry, and he stayed in California where he's originally from, and I came back to Phoenix, and just. Oh, you were doing special. I didn't know that, Frank. Yeah. Oh man, you got to tell us about that then, man. Yeah, we were you know worked on a couple of movies together, you know, to live and die in L.A. Uh, Running Man, Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, did a lot of commercials. Really? You know, but, you know, I just wasn't having fun doing that, so I just came back home and, yeah. and, and just kept it going. He just kept going? Yeah, man. he's he's yeah, he's still doing it. Wow, man. He's done a lot of movies, doing good for himself, you know? Yeah, man. So so what, what inspired that? Did you always want to do that at a young age, too? No, we just got, we just got, uh, they, had, they needed a car done. Uh, they were doing a, a movie down here in Phoenix. Okay. And uh, they needed a car done. They came to us. They said, "Can you guys make this car go 12 feet in the air?" And we did it. And wow. and they, so they took us to California with them, you know. And, yeah. But I pretty much, you know, that that wasn't what I wanted to do. I stayed here in town. Right. You know, I'm a family man, you know, and yeah. kept running the car club, and and doing my business. Yeah, man. Um, what do you feel, like, out of all those times that you, out of all the people you've had, you've had some 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 legendary people come come through to the shop you know who are just some just to name a few man yeah we did basketball players you know um cedric sabalos yeah you know yeah. we did cedric sabalos's car uh okay. when he was playing for phoenix yeah he's playing for the nice. suns yeah, yeah. and the lakers he went to the lakers and right. yeah we did his car uh it was quite a few people you know yeah, it was just man. people we did it from everywhere from new jersey new york canada hawaii yeah. you know how do you feel that it that it it spread as 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 well as it did? Was it just because at the time back then it was word of mouth? Yeah, there was no social media. Social media there was man. nothing. It was all word of mouth, and you know, in my whole life doing this, I've always been busy. Always, yeah. I always have work. Um, I've taught a lot of people that now have businesses, you know, here in town doing the same thing. Nice. You know, so you know, I, my my goal has always been to make the industry grow. You know, if we lose this part, then it just fails. You know, we we're not gonna exactly. low riding is gonna die. That's why we do all the car shows. That's why I got involved doing my own hops, yeah. you know, because people weren't respecting us in the hop game. You know, we're we're uh, we're we're entertainers. Like like if you hire people, <clears throat> excuse me, to do music, yeah. you know, we're the same. So and I was getting mad. We were getting cheated. So and now we're in three different states. Like I was telling you, we're Albuquerque, Vegas. We just did Vegas it was a success. Right. And of course, we do Phoenix here every year. Why do you feel that you weren't getting respect in the hop scene? What, what do you think? What do you think it was? Well, I think the promoters are more when they do shows. They, they want to stick with just entertainment, okay. you know, and which is, is good because entertainment brings the crowd. That's yeah, where the money's at. The money. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, for years and years and years, I've been in, in the hop game and running a successful car club. Right. You know, we're going on 40. We're over 43 years old, exactly. you know, and and so I understand the, the lowrider scene. I, I love doing the shows, but we weren't getting no respect in the hop game. So they, they were, you know, they want to pay us peanuts to come out there and perform. And, you know, we live in Arizona where people be sitting in the crowd in the, in the bleachers for hours in the sun, yeah. you know, 100 degrees, that's hot. Oh, yeah. You know, Vegas, 100 degrees, it's hot, it's like Arizona. Absolutely. And so we were getting no respect, you know, and so I started doing it myself and, and our purses are ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000, you know, that's unheard of. You know, you go to these other shows and they want to, you know, give out $2,500, $1,500, exactly. you know, so hoppers weren't going. Right now, I just did Vegas, and even here, I always have average over 100 hoppers. You know, that's unheard of. Wow, man. You know, so that's why we call ourselves the super hop. Mm -hmm. We're not an after hop, or we're not none of that. We're the super hop. Super hop yeah. yeah, so, you know, we're always 100 cars. That's a lot of, that's a lot of cars. That is. You know, and, uh, um, you know, so it's been, it's, it's good, you know, and, you know, that's, I even support other people. I'll go to the hops, there's only 10, 15 cars. I just go to support everybody. We travel. It's all about keeping the culture alive. Yeah, you got to keep our industry going. Right. You know, that's why. Uh, that's why I think we have so much success because we support a lot of people from different states, and they come over here. Man, that was honor. <laughs> you know, um, thank you. Um, it it really was like a dream come true. You know, it really didn't hit till when we got to Vegas and all the ceremony. Right. And then it was like, wow, really? This, you know, the people I was inducted with, you know, there's some other guys that are there, you know, legendary guys, you know. Yeah. And for me to be part of them and they're talking to me, it was like, wow. You know, it was right. kind of crazy. Like you're a peer, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. How, when did you get the, the, the call? Like, what, what I mean? It was a couple months ago. 
Okay. You know, every year they, they you know, they, they go through this process, yeah. you know, and, and what's good is, is, you know, your peers are the ones that vote you in, you know, it's, it's not just them making the decision. Right. So it was a lot of people making the decision. You have the support. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's, it, it means that people are paying attention to what you're doing and, and uh, the right people are getting in, you know. Oh, that's beautiful, man. How was the ceremony? Oh, it was nice. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was cool. They did. It was classy. Um, just the way they handled it, you know. They, they, you know, they let you bring your family. I mean, it's a, it's a big, you know, 600 people there, and uh, um, you know, it's dinner. It's uh, they give you jackets, they give you rings. Wow. You know, they got uh, camera systems where they're showing all how you grew up. You know, they ask for old pictures and yeah. and and uh, yeah. yeah. So it, you know, shows what you know a little bit real quick of what you you know what you do in case some people didn't know you know and. And then, and like I say, the whole ceremony was, it was, it was badass. Oh, that's and awesome. then I got to have my mom there, you know? Oh, that's beautiful, bro. Even better, yep. even better, man. You know, and it's something that's like, man, that's, that's Arizona right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, in the Lowrider Hall of Fame, you know what I mean? That's, what, what are the jackets like? Oh, they're super nice, man. <laughs> nice, nice. I, I didn't even think, you know, when they asked my size, I said, okay, you know, when they, they, they put it on you right there, you know, in the ceremony, yeah. it was nice. And then in Vegas, it was nice and cool, so I got to wear it. Right, right, so, right, yeah. At my hop, I got to wear it, and so it was good. You know, and it's good they involve your family, you know. I, I have a big family, and uh, I took them all. And, uh, you know, because they take, you know, doing this industry, you work a lot of long hours, you know. It's, it's, not, it's not a regular job. You're not just 9 to 5, you know. Right, right. You know, we're here 18, sometimes 20, sometimes around the clock to go to these shows, yeah. and your family pays for it, you know. You know, you miss birthday parties. You miss, you know, you miss a lot of stuff going, you know, all these years. And, and uh, so it was good having my family there. You know, my wife, my kids, and especially my mom. It was crazy, you know. She had never been to none of this. Really? And never, nope. she never been to none of this, what I do. And so she came, then she went to my hop. She couldn't believe it. She couldn't believe the magnitude of, you know, of, of you know, you get 10,000 people at your, at your, you know, hop. And, yeah. you know, all these cars jumping and. She never seen none of that, you know. She's seen it on videos, you know, but never witnessed it. Wow, so. That's special. Right there. Yeah, it was good. And then she got to have fun in the casino, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it don't stop. You know, this weekend we're in Mexicali for a car hop. And then uh, then we got November 4th, the OG Lowrider show in Vegas. Okay. And then it start, Then our, our circus starts again on New Year's. We'll be in LA for the massacre, nice. which is annual. We've been doing 20 some years. Mm -hmm. um, my buddies have a shop out there. They do their, like I do my hop, they do theirs on the first. Okay. And then again, mine, mine here in Arizona will be the uh, second to last weekend in February. So, and it just starts from there again. We do a lot of things like, as far as, uh, you know, like I said, these guys come from everywhere, you know, these cars, yeah. you know, and um, you know, we're pretty busy at that. And then we do, uh, Thanksgiving, we do some stuff for the homeless, and then Christmas, we do stuff for adopt some families for the kids, you know, and nice, and take care of them, and you know, so like I say, every weekend we're busy. That's why I say my family takes, you know, yeah. takes a beating because they don't, you know, I don't get to spend a whole lot of time with everybody. But I think now they're gonna, they, now they see different, especially after the Hall of Fame. So now I think they'll be more involved, you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. So now that they see they love it, so. It's all worth it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's definitely worth it. Oh, it's great, man. You know, um, you know, you kind of lose sight in that as you, as you work so hard. And, and then, like, this last weekend in, in Vegas for the Hall of Fame, my family was there. The, the, the emotion, the, the love, the support was great. It made me feel good. You know, that's why I say that's when it really hit me about how special the Hall of Fame was. And uh, so now I got that on my, on my back, you know, Frank's Hydraulics, Frank Castillo, Hall of Famer, you know, so. So, it, it, you know, it's, man, I don't even know who's gonna happen again to any, anybody in Arizona, you know, you never know, you know, so now I got to vote though. There's a lot of people here that deserve it in Arizona, you know, especially guys that've been around before me. There's guys that are still in this game, 100%, you know, they're just not, is vocal, not in the you know the open where people don't you know pay attention to them, but now I got that vote, so be good. But the love is good, man. It's great. All right, I'm Frank Castillo, the Hall of Famer. That was my five. And there you have it, 
Man, shout out to my man, the OG, Frank Castile. You, sir, you know, are an absolute legend, a huge part of the community out here, my brother. And, you know, I just, it was an honor to have you on our platform, blessing this, you know, and everything you do for the scene and keeping the culture alive. You're a Hall of Famer now, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people can't say that, you know, especially out here. So, you know, that's definitely, definitely something to be proud of. And uh, the community loves you. You know, we support you. And, uh, you know, thank you so much again, man. Make sure you guys are following him on social media. And shout out to my brother Jimmy Nelson on that camera. Make sure you guys subscribe to that YouTube channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend. All right. Well, this was definitely one for the books. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, though. Till next time, stay tuned. Stay blessed. Stay healthy. And just give me five, y'all. Everything you get, you got the work.